Here we have a power supply board which came in from one of my customer and uh, he said the power supply is, uh, is having a problem, uh, it is having a no power issue and the company is BPL and model is 2509 and it is a monophase defibrillator and I have seen a lot of uh, 2509 defibrillator boards and uh, which is very easy to uh, to find the problem if, if it exists. So it is having uh, testing points which, uh, which is having a reference voltage so that we can know uh, whether the voltage is coming or not. Uh, based on that we can easily identify where the problem is and how to solve. So I am Pravin Rajagopal, this is Mr. Biomedical. Okay, now uh, first thing first. So here, here you can see a lot of points, which is mentioned like TP three not six, TP three not four, three not four, three not five, three not three, three not two, three not one, and which is for switch, battery, and uh, and positive and negative. Okay, then. Here we can, we have some testing point uh, which is mentioned like 307 and this here right here uh, 308 minus 8 volt so how to check uh, this uh, uh, testing point so that's a very important thing we have a multimeter here so how to how to uh, find the problem here as you can see there is a line neutral and earth connector what I am going to do is just connect the power supply here and taking the measurement here so if you find uh, if you find any mistake like uh, for example uh, 8 volt is supposed to come here but if you are getting uh, 0 point or 1 point or 2 point, uh, 2 point voltages DC voltages then we can uh, we can assume that uh, there is an issue with this with this entire area so okay let's find out uh, the voltage is coming or not by using the power supply okay so first of all I need to give the power uh, power to here and then we are we are, we are going to uh, take the measurement here so let's find out okay now I connected the face and neutral here so let's switch it on and see I have multimeter here I'm going to check these test points okay so here's a minus and this is a battery out so I'm getting I'm getting a fluctuated value uh, for example I will not show you right it's a battery minus and it's a battery plus as you can see the values are fluctuating from 14 to 11 so we can assume there's a problem uh, in this circuit so let's check other uh, testing points so that we can uh, we can confirm whether the complaint is here or here or somewhere else so let's check other thing uh, 8.6 tabled to okay it's fine Let's check uh, plus five volt here. No five volt. Not getting and minus eight volt. We are not getting. So yes. So we can uh, we can assume this side of circuit 
it's having a problem or here so what I'm going to do is just unplug the AC line here and uh, guys make sure uh, you are waiting for a good time to you know uh, this uh, this capacitor is boosted now so as you can see I will show you I will show you how much voltage is voltage is coming Just be careful whenever you are de dealing with this type of boards so let's see wait I am showing you now capacitor is discharged but sometimes what will happen is this capacitor will be fully charged and you know uh, give you the electric electric shock so beware of this thing uh, make sure you, you you disconnected this capacitor you discharge this capacitor and uh, go through the process okay so now the capacitor is fully discharged so i'm going to do the visual check here so sometimes we may know the problem with the visual inspection itself so uh, sometimes it will not so sometimes we have to uh, check with the multimeter so that we can know uh, we know the fault is component so that is a uh, that's a thing whenever you are dealing with a uh, smbs or smd that's a main thing you have to check visually so that is why i'm always preferring that visual checking is everything after that only it is started um, uh, started with another you know um, the process like uh, for example if you are uh, if you are going to check the capacitor or resistor or transistor or uh, whatever whatever mosfets or something so you should uh, you should have a very well knowledge uh, in this uh, um, uh, about electronics and all Okay, let's uh, uh, go forward and uh, see where the problem is. So I'm going to start with this transistor over here. This is transistor or MOSFET, whatever it is. Uh, you can you can see you can see the data sheet in Google uh, with the with the reference number here. Okay, now let's check. that you can have a better understanding okay now I'm checking mm, it is good and uh, when I search visually there's no component break or you know uh, any missing components or blown components so we should check with the multimeter itself so I'm going to check these zener diodes. It's fine, fine, fine. There's no shot. I will do the uh, um, explanation video about how to checking this electrical electronic components I don't think there's a problem with these components. Um, I am assuming that the problem is with this IC or this IC. So this is uh, a comparator, I guess, the LM358 and LM393. Uh, why? Uh, why? That is the thing. Uh, because I've seen a lot of uh, this type of boards. So um, the problem will be with this thing because uh, you know there's a uh, there is no uh, component broke or uh, blown component or something so 
we can we can assume uh, okay in elect in electronics theory if you're a service engineer uh, and uh, you're doing a board service so the the formula is simple if you if you have a suspect if you have a doubt on a particular component you can easily change we can change this uh, ic so we can change this ic and check the output so if uh, if the output is coming then uh, we can uh, we can confirm that uh, this ic is faulty or else we can find some other way to uh, to find the um, component uh, find the com uh, faulty components but now what i understand is uh, there is no no problem with this uh, this mosfet transistors diodes and resistors capacitors or something so what i am going to do is just change this uh, this to uh, ics then uh, we're going to figure out whether the problem is settled or not